In this question, again, we're given a Fourier pair. So we're given a one-sided decaying exponential in the time domain, and we're given its corresponding frequency domain representation, f of omega. We're being asked for f of 85. So notice that it's asking for the modulus. So we need the magnitude of the Fourier transform. 85, that's just the question telling us that omega is 85. And that 2 there, that's just the question telling us that a equals 2. So that's that value there. So we start with what we know. So f of omega is equal to 1 over a plus i omega. Now, because the denominator here is complex, we multiply by something called the complex conjugate. In the numerator and the denominator. So that's the same complex number, but with a negative, or we change the sign of the imaginary part. And we do that so that the denominator becomes real. So a squared plus omega squared. And we have a minus i omega in the numerator. So that's f of omega. And that's fine. But the question was, find the magnitude. So the modulus. We need to find, because this is now a complex number, because we still have the imaginary um, the complex, uh, we have the imaginary number i in it, we still need to find the magnitude of f of omega. And to do that, you would simply find the magnitude of the numerator, because the denominator is already real. And if you simplify that, it's simply... 1 over a squared plus omega squared. Now we happen to know that a equals 2 and omega equals 85. So we can simply replace that with 2 squared and 85 squared. Put that in the calculator and end up with your answer 0 0.017117 and to five decimal places six and that's your final answer